Magnus Carlsen, ranked number four in the world, the main favorite of the tournament. The kid grew up after refusing to play in one of the Grand Prix tournaments. I won't use the nickname from the fairy tale anymore. He is no longer just a young, incredibly talented player flying to the top. Now we see a mature elite player with his view of the situation, who learned to make difficult decisions and go against fate. But his age and perspectives don't change. The ceiling of Magnus's possibilities isn't in sight yet, and the growth is still continuing. Norwegian. How long of a space of time can the name the kid stay around for? He's not a giant yet, of course, so I guess for now we'll just call him by his last name. Was the kid? Became Carlson. I bet Astrid Lindgren didn't see that coming in the plot. But life is slyer than all of the authors in the world. Carlson plays simply and aggressively. I think this style will be effective in this long tournament of unequal players. We'll be waiting for the new flight to the roof. Thank you very much. Have a good day. The last player that I'll be introducing to you is Vasily Manchuk, ranked number 3 in the world. Everything has already been said about this genius for so I'll just touch on the new moments. Vasily is already a veteran, but is refusing to give up his position with the pressure of time. He is not only holding on to the territory, but is also making it. The new amount of information doesn't scare this real chess fan. He digests it all and w creatively works it out. The young skeptics are waiting when the dinosaur will fall and go extinct, but on the contrary, Vasily is only improving. Though sometimes Evan Shook doesn't calculate his power correctly. I think that he takes part in tournaments way too often. He simply overworks and in important co uh, competitions loses concentration and sharpness of play. That is the only way I can explain his fall in Nankin. The flight to the east and then the usual for the body time of play just made the total exhaustion worse. But before the new tournament of the new year, um, the, fr the Ukrainian leader did get some rest, thankfully. So we, ex we can expect him to play for the highest positions. Nothing else is possible. And then, or in conclusion, I would like to say that I want to wish all of the participants of the tournament good luck and very interesting games. I hope to feature all of them in my online reports, and I also hope that they will amaze the chess world with their terrific play. Thank you very much. Have a good day.